Hey FedEx, what's up FedEx? Have you noticed in your past three episodes of interior decoration you've been saying tutorial update 9 instead of title update 9? No, I haven't noticed. Why do you think's that? I don't know, maybe because you're an idiot. Hey guys, FedEx here bringing you another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on entertainment interior. So you can fill up your house with more games and just stuff to really just fill up your house. So over to the left, we got a TV set, turned on TV set with two speakers using item frames and buttons. A checkerboard or chessboard, doesn't really matter, with item frames on some staircases. A drum set with a bass drum with an item frame and button kickstand and a chair. A piano. Which I like actually a lot. It's very simple to make, easy. A pinball machine, working pinball machine, if you want to believe it works. A punching bag. A billiards table, which most people know how to build by now. And a dartboard, which the item frame does pop off if you hit it, but it's still good for interior. So, most of these entertainment items you see here, you can build yourself. It's not very difficult, but a lot of people just don't think about this stuff, so I thought I would just show what I kind of thought of not on my own I've seen other people do some things and then I just kind of piece together my own ideas with their ideas so I'm just going to show you how to build the TV most likely the pinball machine the piano and pretty much everything else is pretty much set in stone it's very easy and simple to make so what you're going to need is four bookcases four trap doors four then you're going to want to put down the stands for the speakers, which is fences, which I have to get out. To fe I tend to forget the fences a lot in this video. Then you take your item frames, which we got in tutorial 9. And then you also need buttons to put inside. You don't have to put the buttons. You can put, maybe find something else that looks better. I just like buttons for speakers. I don't know why. Next, you take your glowstone, and you don't have to make the TV this big. I just like that uh, Street Fighter picture, which I'm probably not going to go for anyway, since it'll probably take me longer than this video to find it, which I still don't understand why Minecraft just doesn't let us pick which picture pictures we want in creative mode. It makes no sense. And last but not least, we got to put some half slabs over the glowstone. And there you go, a nice uh, TV. And you can also put it inside the wall. You don't have to... If you like your TV in the wall, go ahead, go right ahead, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so, you know, I guess I'll build the drum set as well. And you don't need to use sandstone or, or gray wool for the drums. You can use whatever color you want. So we're going to need whatever color, colors you want. You're going to need stone slabs, fence posts, a lever for the kick pedal, a button for your item frame, and your... You know, you, you know, let's just go. Okay. So we got the we got the bass drum in with the item frame. Then you want to put up the two sides with the fences to put your thimbles on top of. And do not put the item put the stone pressure plate on top of the gray one. That would make no sense. Put your kick pedal, make sure it's facing in. I like to have it facing in so when I put in the piston, it keeps the piston up. But you can put a redstone down. But honestly, God, your kick pedal would be facing towards the bass drum. It'd be stupid if it wasn't. And that's how you make your drum set. Now we're going to make the piano, I guess. It, it's pretty simple to make, but let's just build it, just for the sake of the video. So what you're going to need is fences, stair stone staircases, and nine pieces of black wool. Oh yeah, also you need a piston and a redstone torch, but you can use whatever chair you want, honestly. So you want to put three... And then you want to put three black, three black two black, and then one black, and then put your last fence posts at the back. And there you go, piano. Pretty simple. But like I said, it takes up room, and people are always asking how to fill up their houses. Next, we got a pinball machine. So you maybe got a little entertainment area in your house. Throw some pinball machines in there. You can go check out my other video, my nightclub video. I have some pretty big, uh, Pretty big game systems. I got like a car one, uh, a zombie one, a funhouse mirror, dance, dance revolution kind of knockoff thing. 
So what you want is two glowstone and whatever color you want. I use just stone just to use it. And then put whatever pictures you want. If you want to like make the pictures look equal and significant and actually make sense, go ahead. Me, I was just chucking it up there to put it up there. And I think I was about to put a stone, uh, a, a pressure plate, but I forgot the pressure plates don't go on glowstone anymore. Nor does redstone or uh, rails. So you're going to have to either put a half slab on there or just leave it open if you really want to. And there you go, pinball machine. And like I said, punching bag, easy. Build your table. You probably already know how to build it. And then we got this dartboard here, which I did test out. I'm pretty sure I tested it out in this video too, that if you shoot it, it will come off. But you can use either you can use it for show or you can actually make a game out of it. You can put some pressure plates at the bottom, hook it up with redstone. And if you hit all the targets, you can get a prize or something. It's all up to you. But yep, yeah, oop, and it falls off. But yeah, guys, that's it. And my next video I'm going to be making on is kitchen interior. My next interior episode is going to be on kitchen interior. My next video, I'm, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. But I got a few videos lined up. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And stay tuned for more videos. And go check out my channel. Peace.